Hello there guys, it's Joel here aka Galax and welcome back to my YouTube channel today for a new recent pickups video. Today's video is sponsored by Flannels, if you didn't guess that already from the title. I love flannels so much, I've shopped with them for years, I've worked with them a few times in the past before as well and it's still one of the places that I check at least a couple of days a week to see what new pieces they have from the brands that I absolutely love. They carry hundreds of brands and they've got a great selection of pieces. It is luxury, but definitely there's an accessible price point. It's not just like super, super high-end pieces. There is a great mix from all your favorite luxury brands as well. So, like I said, I've been shopping with them for years. It's one of the go-to places that I check every time that I start shopping. Uh, so yeah, I feel like I've done a good selection of pieces today for this recent pickups video. I hope that you like them. I've linked everything in the description box below. So if you did want to check anything out in further detail, it's right down there for you. So I'd love to know which your favorite piece from today's haul is as well in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, and let's get stuck into it. So the first piece that I want to talk about is a piece that I'm wearing right now. I couldn't help myself, I just wanted to wear it for the video. It's this Ambush Design Long Sleeve Tee. It's like a double layer tee, you know, like a big oversized tee with like a long sleeve sleeve underneath. Um, I have been really loving Ambush lately. Um, I've actually followed Yoon, the designer from Ambush, for a really, really long time and she collaborated with uh, Kim Jones for the jewellery for Dior because Ambush originally started by making jewellery. Um, but since I've gone into ready to wear and stuff like that and I've been really really loving Ambush's recent collections uh, They've done some really sick lookbooks. So I as soon as I saw this on flannels, I was like Gotta have that. It was a really good price as well. It was 129 pounds um, It's available in other colors as well. Actually. I just you know me. I love black. So I went for this as you can see it's super oversized uh, these sleeves feel super soft as well, which is a really, really nice touch. And I like how they have the ribbing that keeps it like tight around your wrist. The puff print looks really cool. It's just a really nice silhouette and very comfortable and easy to wear as well. The next piece I want to talk about is this Helmet Lang crew neck, which I thought was really, really sick. It says Helmet Ski Resort on it, and then the graphic on the back, I think it's to do with like <laughs> snow slopes and stuff like this. Like, yeah, like ski access, devil's trails, stuff like this. I just thought the graphics were really, really cool. I love the red and blue contrasting on the black. And who doesn't love a black oversized crew neck? I got it in XL. Uh, the ribbing on this feels super wide and luxurious. The cut is really nice as well. It's greatly oversized. Uh, it just feels super cozy and comfortable. Um, so yeah, the silhouette is really, really good on this. So it just feels like a really, really good essential piece. Now the next piece I've been lust lusting after for a while. I was gonna get the diesel bag at one point, you know, like the iconic bag, um, but I didn't, I don't know. There was never a color that I thought would go with everything of mine, and I didn't just wanna get a black bag again. Um, but this accessory is definitely super wearable with everything in my wardrobe, and it is the diesel logo belt. Um, I think this is a really, really nice addition to like any outfit. I'm constantly wearing a belt with every single look, whether it's jeans or smart trousers. Um, so I think this is a really good addition to anyone's wardrobe, really. So here is what it looks like on. Here is the diesel belt on. I think it's a really, really nice addition to any outfit, especially if you're wearing an all black fit and you just kind of want like to focus or have uh, a little bit of silver sprinkled in because my jewellery is all silver so it really kind of matches with my entire look. Um, yeah, I just think it's a really, really nice touch. Keeping up with the diesel vibe, um, I saw this diesel tee on the site and I just thought it was a really, really cool idea. Um, basically, it's like the logo is peeling off the tee so you can see where the t-shirt has been dyed but like not where the logo is if you know what I mean. So I thought that was a really, really, really nice technique and way of doing their logo but like in a different way. I also love this kind of like muted purple. I don't really know what you call it. It's like a, a mauve. I like the kind of distressed vibe that it's giving. Looks like you've been like dragged through a bush which is something that I like the look of by the way. Again I got this in an XL because I really like that kind of oversized drop shoulder effect and the actual shape like the way it sits on my shoulders is really flattering. I really like it. It makes me look like I have really broad Shoulders, the way the logo takes up the whole chest as well, it's really cool, really pleased with the like proportions 
on the tee and it falls really nicely as well. It just really depends if you like your tees nice and oversized and big, like I do. Okay, carrying on with the diesel pieces. You are spoiled for choice on flannels with diesel jeans. There are so many diesel jeans to choose from and they're all like really good prices too. So I definitely feel like if you're looking for a new pair of jeans, flannels diesel is the best place to look. Um, I picked up these white jeans, which is a bit controversial for me because I usually go for black, but in summer I do tend to wear white denim with things. Um, these are more on the like creamy side. I just thought they had a really, really nice texture to them, which kind of looked like really worn in already, which I really love that effect. Also, these are a slim jean, which is very controversial because I feel like we were at skinny and then we went to like wide leg and baggy and now we're kind of going back on the pendulum, back on the way to skinny. Um, but this is like slim, so this is like not quite skinny, not quite wide, but somewhere in between. Uh, they just look like a really nice cut on the model, so I'm really excited to try these on and see how these fit on me. There was a matching shirt, but they've sold out of it, which I was really, really annoyed about because I feel like I did want to do like the complete look. However, I did get a uh, shirt from another brand that I want to show you guys that I think could go quite nicely with this too, I'm not sure. Next up, I don't know if you've heard of the brand CP Company. They're kind of famous for these types of jackets with like goggles on. Not really my realm of uh, brands, but I saw these swim shorts that I thought were just really, really nice. They're just a black pair of nylon swim shorts with the CP Company uh, embroidered here in the corner. And I just thought they were a really kind of good summer essential, especially for 160 pounds. So here we have the CP Company swim shorts. Like I said, they're just like an essential black pair of swim shorts, great for summer. The little CP Company embroidery here. Super lightweight, super comfortable. It feels like I'm wearing nothing at all. It literally feels like I'm wearing hardly anything. Um, but that's a good thing, right? Especially when you're swimming, you want to feel like streamlined. Um, so yeah, I think these are a great swim short if you're looking for a swimming short. I can't stress enough how lightweight these are. They just feel super, super comfortable as well. Um, I know sometimes when you hear the word nylon, you think it's going to be like, scratchy or hot or anything but these are so soft they are so soft and lightweight like i cannot get across to you how nice these feel okay so the next brand's name i'm probably gonna butcher uh, i feel like it's han copenhagen but i'm not 100 percent sure i know they're from copenhagen um i think they're from copenhagen i want to say it's han copenhagen uh, but please correct me if I'm wrong. I actually had a pair of biker pants from this brand once. Their, run their runways, uh, their lookbooks, their collections are always really, really, really nice. Like, I've been obsessed with certain pieces from them for so long. Uh, and they have a suit on flannels, which I was really, really loving. So and it's hard to tell on here, but basically we have an oversized blazer with like metal details on the pockets here. And then we have some wide leg trousers as well. But the blazer itself was 105, which is crazy to me because it's such a nice piece of tailoring. Like I'm so, so excited to try this. You know I love an oversized suit. Here is the Han Copenhagen blazer. And it is so nice. It's giving me anime villain vibe. Uh, I love the little detail in the pockets. I think that's a really, really nice touch. I love the uh, double-breasted fastening. Uh, it's just a really, really nice cut. I love how it sits on my shoulders as well. There's a tiny bit, I think it's just quite structured. There's no like shoulder pad, but it is quite like structured in the shoulder, the way that it's sewn together. Uh, these are the hand Copenhagen trousers, suit trousers, and they are a really, really nice fit. Um, they're what they say they're loose fitting. Um, they are rather wide, but they're not like crazy wide. I think, again, they're like a nice in-between. Uh, these are a 50 and I'm a 32 inch waist, if that helps you at all. Because I know that sometimes the sizing can be a bit confusing. Okay, don't hate me, this is another black crew neck. I think I have a problem. Um, but this is from a brand that I rep since 2014, 2015. I was obsessed with Represent. And they've come such a long way, like they have grown so much. They're such a huge brand now. They're carried in places like flannels. Um, so this one felt more like sentimental. So I picked up the Represent Owners Club crew neck. Uh, so you just have the little detail here that says Represent Owners Club. And then on the back you have 
that graphic as well. We got it in a size large and this is what it looks like on. It's really interesting trying the helmet lang one and then trying this represent one because they are so different even though they're both black crew neck sweatshirts. They are so so different. The ribbing on the cuffs is a lot tighter on the represent ones. Even that just like changes the silhouette instantly of like how it grabs onto your wrist. Also this one is a little bit longer uh, so you can like cover more of your jeans with it or you could like style it so it's like up like that if you know what I mean. So there's a few different options with this one which is quite cool. The graphics on this one are a lot cleaner in a way because it's just like the text and the text there. They're both really nice sweatshirts um, but they're both so different. Oh, this one has more of a drop shoulder as well which I absolutely love. Next up now this is the piece that I thought could go with the diesel jeans if I was doing like an all white summer look. Um, basically this is Axel Arigato. Most commonly known for their sneakers but they actually do a lot of ready to wear now as well and I was pleasantly like surprised by this piece. It is a kind of, this is kind of heavy textured cotton. It feels very structured which I really love in terms of garments, especially shirts. I hate like a slouchy like uh, limp shirt whereas this is like strong and keeps its shape. So this is 175 which I think is a really good price considering the uh, construction and the fabric of this piece. Um, I am intrigued to see what it will look like on though. This is an XL, so let's give it a go. <clears throat> okay, so here is the Axel Arigato shirt, and it's actually really, really impressive the way that it's kept its structure because of this like textured cotton. It's giving me Prada vibes, like Prada printed shirts or their nylon shirts. Um, it's definitely that kind of uh, inspo for sure. So those are my recent pickups from Flannels. I hope that you have enjoyed this video. I hope that I've shown you something that you find interesting or that you like. Uh, like I said, everything's linked in the description box below if you want to check it out. I hope that I've converted you to being a flannel shopper just like me. And yeah, I will see you in my next one. Thanks for watching guys. Bye.